Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. As you can see, I am barefaced. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and do another get ready with me today. I actually had a lot of fun doing the last one and it wasn't as horrible to edit as I thought it would be. <laughs> so we're going to today again work on project pan items. I have a couple of palettes that are in like paint and every palette and stuff like that that I'm kind of I really want to hit goal on. So I'm going to be a little adventurous with the shadows that I use, I have to kind of think about it a little bit, but I'm excited because I really want to hit pan specifically in this one shadow. So anyway, I always start off, as I mentioned in the last video, pulling back my hair. I do need to color my hair, which is going to happen tomorrow. All right. As usual, I will start with my eyes today and I need to pull out my primer. This one is really close to being done. This is the Smashbox 24 hour primer. What is it? Photo finish primer. Really close to being done. I'm having to like squeeze the very last bit out of here. There's still product in there, still product. As usual, I will fast forward through the parts that I'm like, you know, spending time blending, etc. And I did change the focus setting on my camera to where it would focus on my face and my eyes. So we'll see how that ends up working out. Okay, before I put on some under eye patches, I'm going to set my primer. I'm using this Franken product that I, <laughs> that I have in, well, it wasn't a project. It's not on a project anymore. I don't really have a good brush. Actually, let's use this one. Some of these brushes are going to be a little bit dirty. My, apo my apologies as I throw that brush. Okay, let's see. And I do have a mirror over here that I will be looking at to help. I really don't like this powder. I'm just trying to finish it up. I've been working on it for a while now. It'll get done. It's very, very, very close. Oh, the birds are pretty. Birds sound good. All right, now I'm gonna do my under eye patches. Um, I mentioned these last time. I'm working on the Pyong King Yule eye patches. These are really nice. Somebody mentioned in my last video, my last get ready with me that I was putting these on the wrong way. I don't think there's a wrong way to use these. I will use them the other way just to show you, you can use them both. My problem with using them this way is that my, well, there's a gnat in here. My bags hit the patch, my eye bags hit the patch and it impedes my vision. So that's the reason why I typically don't do it this way. I think you can do it either way, personally. But we'll do it this way today. There we go. Yeah, I mean, they just, it hits my, my bag. <sighs> Thanks, mom and dad, for the eye bags. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with a light powder. I'm going to try to use new or unused eye brushes. I do have some of those. So I'm just going in with this kind of a, this kind of a brush. This is from Sephora. I think, I'm sorry, Morphe E14. Uh oh, I have a, an eyeshadow that kind of crumbled in here and I'm just adding some of the white shadow. This is Mac Blanc type. Okay, for my first crease shade. So let me show you the palettes that I'm trying to work on. So this is the Alva palette. I'm sorry, Alva 2 palette from Odin's Eye. And I have this in my project level up palette. So I have used all the shades in here once except for the two glitters and I'm working on hitting pan in this shade. So I would like for that to happen. You can see how close I am. So that's kind of what I want to work on today. I also have, these are, I also have a shade in this Lilac You A Lot palette by ColourPop that I'm working on, this purple right here. 
and I would like to get some use on that. I typically like to combine it with other shadows to get more of a like pinky purple look. I need to use each shade in here. This is the Pat McGrath Bell of the Ball palette from the Bridgerton collection. And I think I need to use each of these shades three times. So I may actually use one of these two today just to get some use on them. So I'm gonna leave that out. And then I need to get well, there's three shades in this, four shades in this palette that I need to get use on. I don't think I'm gonna get use on these, but I'm just gonna see one, two, three, and four. Maybe I can use this bottom shade, Stud Muffin. Let's see, what am I gonna start with? I'm going to start with my Viseart Violet and Tendu palette. I'm working on getting uh, like e using each of these shades five times. So I'm going to go in first with this shade and I may use some of the shades from this top row too. So we're gonna go in with that light lilac -y purple shade first. And we'll see how it is. I Today is Monday and Yesterday was the Super Bowl. Today's the, what, 11th, 12th, 12th. Today's the 12th. Yesterday was the Super Bowl. It was okay. I just wasn't really that excited about either team, to be honest, but I'm a Cowboys fan, so, you know, you know how that is. But I was rooting for the Niners because I'm kind of tired of Kansas City. Okay, next I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this shade here, the second shade in the palette, and I may actually combine it with the lilac shade as well. Just to get some depth there. These shadows blend so beautifully. I love Viseart shadows so much. And did I tell you I'm using a Refer 16 brush? I don't think I did. These brushes are so good. So, so good. Highly recommend. Okay. Now that we've laid that down, I think what I'm gonna do is go into, do some mixing. I'm gonna mix this purple, which is the shade Iffy, with this shade from the Pat McGrath palette. I'm gonna go in with a really light hand because these are both kind of darker shadows. Just dipping a little bit on the brush from both. And here is the shadow. This is a, Zoeva Lux Crease shade, part of their Rose Gold collection. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, well, it blends nice. I do have some skipping there though. I'll have to fix that. Annoying. The problem with going in with a light hand with this purple shadow is I'm never gonna hit pan <laughs> if I keep doing it this way. But this is how I'm enjoying using it. I will go in with a fluffy brush that has not been used. I have the Wayne Goss 16, the original original Wayne Goss 16. Oh, this is such a great brush. And just try to blend those crease, those like skipping parts out. Better. All right, let's go back in. with a bit more of a heavy hand to add some depth to the outer corner and outer crease. And right now I'm swirling between the two shadows. Oh, that's a little bit, it's a lot there. <laughs> Compared to the side. I, actually they both look pretty good. I, um, tend to go, does, do, do you guys like 
have better results on one eye or the other. I find that this eye is always better than this eye. It's so funny. And this eye is smaller than this eye. So sometimes the crease, you can't see the crease as much. At least that's the way I see it. You know, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Thank you. I am not a professional. I just like to play with makeup. That'll do. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take this dark shade in the Viseart palette and I'm going to combine it with that purple as well and I'm going to go ahead and use this Real Techniques like shader. I like brushes like this for the outer corner of my crease. I'm just going back and forth between the two mixing the shades and we're just going to see what this looks like on the outer corner. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. It'll work. <laughs> okay. That will do for the mats. Now I'm going to work on my lids. So I have this shadow stick by Mally I'm working on in a project. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and tap this cream shadow on my lid. I'm not the biggest fan of shadow sticks. They're just, I don't need them, I don't think, but I'm, I'm using it. Now I'm going to use my NYX glitter primer. I love this stuff and tap a little bit on my lid. Now I'm going to work on this blue shade. It's gonna go on the very outer corner of my lid. Let's see, I have a Sonia G flat definer. Let me show you what this looks like. So I'm actually going to wet my brush. Let's see. Let's see if I can hit pan in this puppy. Not yet. Well, I didn't pick up very much shadow there. Okay, there we go. I find that the shadow kind of gets everywhere. So as you can see, it's all the way down here too. No pan yet. Damn it. So close. All right. So that's how it's looking. Still no pan. Shoot. All right, next up I'm gonna use my color switch. So I'm just gonna use this brush again. My little color switch. And I think I'm going to go into, I've kind of got like a purple vibe going. So I'm going to go into, this palette is kind of a hot mess, but like this shadow I dug out somehow. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is Etched by Cleona. And I'm just gonna get some on my brush and we'll go into the middle of this eye. It's like a blue purple vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and then for the inner corner, we're just gonna try, I'm gonna again clean off my brush. 
I'm gonna try a little bit of Regal. It may not be, this is Regal by Cleona. It may not be light enough for the inner corner. So I'm just gonna go a little bit. And actually, let me wet my brush again. I'm just gonna do a little, not super like all the way in, but just a little bit just to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's definitely not brightening enough for an inner corner. But we'll add a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see what it what this is doing, but it's adding a little bit of something. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with the shade Good Goud from JD Glow. Clean my brush again. And let me re-wet this. I actually don't know how much that did, but there's the look. <laughs> okay. I was just going to see if there's a massive difference between this Cleona shade and Good God. And there is, as you can see. So now that we have the eyes done, at least the tops of the eyes, I'm going to take this off. <laughs> it went all the way down to my cheek. Okay, now it's time to do the face. So I'm gonna start with my like pre-primer ritual, which is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. And I just grab a little bit on my finger. Blend that in. Cause I got dry skin. And I do the same with the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. Hopefully this is focusing on the product. We'll see. We have some of that blue shadow that I forgot to take off. That's okay. It all works out in the end. All right, next up is primer. And I have moved on to working on this Guerlain Laure primer. I don't think this does anything, but I'm using it. I'm gonna get it out of my collection. So I'm just taking all of it on my hand. And I'm working on this benefit. What is it? What's up? What's up? Right? What? What? What's up? <laughs> and I just do this business with this and blend it in. And for my blush draping today, I'm going to use this Wander Beauty on the Glow blush in bare it's this product here and it's nice that it comes in a stick so I'm just going to paint a little bit on my face like a linebacker <laughs> football player and I'm just gonna blend this out now <clears throat> actually let me use a brush for this I really like this tart cream blush brush that they have. So I'm just gonna use this to blend this out. Get that blue shadow in there. All right, that'll work. I really, I have been, I, okay. I showed this sponge on uh, during my empties and what I brought into my collection for January. This is a sponge that was recommended by Jessica Braun and I will link it down in the description box. These I've used one of these already and I really do enjoy them. So I wanted to show you guys how I use this. So for my foundation today, I really want to get some use on this Lancome Tint Idol stick foundation. I don't like stick foundations. They just don't, they're not for me for my dry skin so I combine this with regular foundation so I'm just going to put a couple of lines of this on my face just a little bit not a ton and then I'm going in with the physician's formula healthy foundation and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my face 
because that Tentai Doll foundation is a little bit darker. It's darker than the one from Physician's Formula, so it blends out well. So after I've done that, I'm just taking, oh, actually, you know what? Let me do a couple of drops of oil on the sponge. Well, let me get some oil. Sometimes it doesn't go in right away. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think my lights are washing everything out. So I just kind of blend it in there. And we'll see. I did, I tried this out yesterday and it worked out pretty well. It's not super heavy coverage which I actually like. I don't like super heavy cakey foundation. I like kind of light, light medium at the most, but typically light coverage for the dry skin, etc., is better. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I feel like light coverage is fine for me. So now I'm gonna work on my under eyes. I'm going in with a corrector. I'm actually gonna combine two correctors today. I did this yesterday too, and I was like, oh, I kinda like it. So this is a Smashbox stick corrector in the shade peach or light peach or something. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this and I'm gonna blend it out with the Becca corrector in light to medium. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of this on my finger, not a ton. And I'll mix the two, mix it between two fingers and then tap, tap, tap to blend it out. To get rid of those dark circles. Cause I got some. All right. I feel like that doesn't make it super brightening because I feel like I also get a little bit of brightening from my concealer. So I have two concealers I'm working on. I've mentioned this before, the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of both. A little bit of, this one's a little bit darker, the Ulta one is. And then I'll grab a little bit of the Tarte and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And then I'll blend it out with the sponge. I take whatever excess is on my sponge and I'll add it to my nose and even go up here on my forehead. That's blended out pretty well. Okay, now we're gonna set. Today I'm gonna use my Hourglass, Dirty Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit and Sculpture and I'm working on the shade Diffused Light in here to hit pan, which is that shade there. And I'm going to take a sponge that I got off Amazon and just Dip in there and lightly press. There we go. And then I'll take a brush. I have cat hair all over my face. I can feel it. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush this is a Wayne Goss 02 you can't buy this anymore sorry but I'll just take a little bit and take off that excess powder blend it off blend it out that's it that's the under eyes I didn't use that that dark blue and that blueberry but muffin palette mm. <laughs> shoot next up I'm gonna do my cream face products. So I'm going with in with a cream bronzer. You know what? Today we're going to try something new. I just purchased this Makeup by Mario 
what do they call this? The sculpt stick? Soft sculpt shaping stick and light. We're gonna try this out today. So it comes with this little brush. I don't usually use those. I may use it on this one, so we'll just see. Anyway. Hmm. I don't ever do the nose or whatever. Let's go ahead and try this. <laughs> yep, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use my sponge to blend this out. It's a good shade match for me. I like that. Again, not a professional, just like to play around with makeup. <laughs> All right, that's fun. That's awesome. I'm glad it, it, I was, I've been looking for a good matching um, bronze stick for a while. I have, again, more cat hair. Where is it? I can feel it. Well, I got one, but I feel like five others on my face. <laughs> All right, cream blush. Let's do this this was a gift from my friend Jen. This is Quo Featherweight Cream Blush in the shade Pure, number 59. You don't need very much of this. So I'm just taking a little bit on my hand. There's so much flipping product in here. <laughs> And for this today, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my sponge. So I've just kind of blended this out a little bit, I'm taking a little bit on my sponge and I'm just going to tap it in. I find this to be, you can use too much and accidentally get like a ton on your face. So we're going to try it like this to see how that works out. Okay, next up is cream highlighter, and I'm still working on this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless, and I'm sorry, Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. And I know I have some on the sponge already, so I'm just going to take a decent amount on my finger, and we're going to add this to my tops of my cheeks there we go all right while well, I let that all like you know seep in I'm gonna finish my eyes so I'll take a fluffy brush I'm gonna start with this Sonia G mini booster is it a mini booster is that what's called yeah mini booster and I'm going to go into, what was the first, oh, right. I was like, what shadow was the first shadow I used? The Viseart Violet Intendu. And I'm going to grab the, I'm just going to go ahead and mix the lilac shade with this shade. I hate my bags. Ugh. Genetics. Oh, I'm using the wrong shade. This is, I'm supposed to be using this shade. <laughs> I was like, this looks really purple. Well, whatever, it's fine. All right, now I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath palette and the Lilac You A Lot palette. And I'm gonna mix between the two with the same brush. And then I'm gonna take a flat, well, maybe I'll use one of these. This is by Sephora, it's their Pro Pointed Brow. I don't know if they still make this one. I don't use it on my brows, I use it on my eyes. But I'm gonna take that purple, this dark purple shade, and mix it with the purple in the
ColourPop palette. We're gonna line the outer part. Just smoke it out. And just for some shits and giggles, I'm gonna take this same brush. I just, you know, I can't be bothered. I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush. And we're going to try to hit pan in that shadow. <laughs> in the Alva 2. I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and line the very, very outer portion of my eye, kind of going into the middle with this to kind of match my upper lid. So we'll see if by doing this, I end up hitting pan. As I've mentioned, I have to be really careful with this shadow because it can get everywhere. Okay, I have a decent amount on my brush now. I'm really trying to hug the lash line. It's hanging on for dear life. Nothing, baby, nothing. All right. I will conquer it tomorrow. <laughs> Stubborn little bee. Okay, next up. I'm gonna do my brows real fast. Working on the ABH Brow Wiz in dark brown. I don't do anything that exciting to my brows, to be honest. I mean, I say that I don't have to do very much to my brows, but one brow is definitely higher than the other. So I do have to work through that. All right, and then for brow gel, I'm just working on this Benefit Gimme Brow right now because I'll, I've had these forever and I need to use them. This is in 4.5. I don't think this is really considered like a brow gel, but that's how I'm using it. <laughs> Because alone it doesn't do enough, but all right, I gotta stop filling with my brows. All right, those are the brows, and then I'm gonna do some under some eyeliner. I'm gonna combine two eyeliners on my lower lash line. So this is Mary Kay Navy Blue and this is Urban Decay Voodoo. So I'm going to start with Voodoo. And then I'm going to add the Mary Kay Navy Blue shade on top. And then I'm gonna go black on the top tight line. Tight line. This is the Gwen Stefani. I don't even know what she calls this crayon gel eyeliner, whatever in black. It's actually called Spider Webs. It's her black shade. All right, and then for my top lash line, I think I need to pull out a new eyeliner to work on. So I was just working on a liquid liner and that's done. Okay, we're going to start this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is a deluxe size. I may be out of frame for this.
This is really hard to do on camera. <laughs> oh lordy. I don't do a wing or anything because I don't care. <laughs> this is a really, really great formula for liquid liner. I'm going to set my face. Right now I am working on this Derma E powder, deluxe size. It's in, I think, my 100 Colorful Empties and it's also, I rolled it into another project. So I'm going to take one of my favorite fluffy brushes to powder with. This is the It Cosmetics, what do they call this? It Brushes for, for Ulta All Over Powder number 211. This is a little bit of a dark shade, but I'm just using a very light amount to set everything, so it's fine. I don't need very much, which means it'll take me forever to finish. <laughs> Next up is bronzer, and one of my favorite bronzer brushes is by, well, let me use a different one. I think I used this one last time. This one's a really great bronzer brush. It's very dirty. Please do not judge. This is the Refer number 22. It's very similar to the Tom Ford bronzer brush. This is fabulous. So the bronzer that I'm working on right now, I want to hit pan and or finish probably finish I think that's what I have this bronzer in the hourglass palette <laughs> and I usually just combine these two shades which is the bronzer and the finishing powder in dim light so I'm just gonna do this business This will all buff out. <laughs> then for blush, let's do, let's use this beautiful brush from Hockey Hodo. I don't know what this one is because it started to, no, I'm sorry, it's the K, maybe it's 020 is what that says here, I think. This one I actually purchased in Japan. Oh, I love this brush. So I think for today's blush, I'm gonna go with, I need to get progress on this Ciate blush. And I think it's is in In Too Deep, here's the shade. So let's just see what this looks like by itself. Kind of a soft blush which whenever you're doing a, a you know bold look like this sometimes you need just a you know a blush that's not going to overpower your face and it's also as you can see got an illuminating factor to it i think i like that and for highlighter I'm gonna grab another favorite brush from Sonia G. This is the Mini Cheek. I'm gonna use this one today. And I'm combining, I need to get use on the Hourglass highlighter here. This is the Strobe Powder and Glistening Strobe Light. And I'm going to combine it with my Dior Nude Air Luminizer in the shade 002, this shade. So I just kind of swirl between the two. The Hourglass shade is very kind of muted and the Dior highlighter is very not muted. <laughs> it's not muted at all. It's very kind of, you know, brightening. I know Wayne Goss has not to do that, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna buff and I'm going to grab the Refer number 30 brush and use my La Mer powder that I'm trying to finish. Oops, I powder anywhere. I 
just take, I mean, you can't even see how much powder is on my brush. Just take a little bit just to help buff out those edges. Who is making all that noise outside? Somebody's playing some music. They're playing some music. Get off my lawn. Next up is mascara, but I'm going to first spray my face. This is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. I'm very close to finishing that. And I'm going to add some, I need to get through this Urban Decay All Nighter. Curl the lashes with the rougher eyelash curler. This is fabulous. Ow. <laughs> as long as you don't pinch your eye. And let me just see, I may need to pull out another mascara. I'm going to pull out the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. I have a mini of this to work on. And I'm thinking I'm going to use the Tarte Mascara first. I think this has had its day, this Lash Freak. It's starting to irritate my lashes and I pick them at night and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to first use the Lights Camera Lashes, but of course, first 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 is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. Love you. And I like to use this for this Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte First to help lengthen and separate my lashes and add a little bit of oomph to them but I feel like this is a good, like this is a good first coat mascara, but I wanna add something else for volume. So we'll see how that Lash Idol does. Let me take a look at the brush real quick. Yeah, a little bit clumpy. Behave. <laughs> that one lash was like, whew, super long. All right, let me look at this lashy doll. Where'd I put it? Over here. Let's see. This is the wand. I've never tried this. Mm, that may be a better mascara to do first. Although it is kind of separating everything. It's fine. I'll have to play around with that combo to see what I would like to do. And then the last step, well, I have one more step I forgot. But let me do the lower lash line. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but that blue shadow traveled a little bit. It's just, it's really difficult not to get it. Even whenever I have it on my, just on my top lashes or my top eyelid, it gets everywhere. It's the unfortunate thing about it. So working it out as soon as possible is key. All right, I forgot to do an inner corner. 
So I'm going to grab a small brush. This is the Zoeva Petite Looks Petite Pencil. And the shade, the eyeshadow that I'm gonna use, oh, I have a hair right here. Actually, I think what I'm gonna use is the my highlighter. I'm gonna use the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. Okay, now for my lips. I'm going to take off this residue with a makeup wipe. Okay, I'm going to go in with MAC Whirl as my lip liner. This is such a hard formula. I feel like I'm exfoliating my lips. <sighs> All right, I'm combining like three different lip products. <laughs> Okay, so I combined this lipstick sample that I'm working on in Turn and Burn with a couple of shades in my Voisset palette. This shade here, and which is La Piscine from Tom Ford, and this one here, which I believe is Modesty from MAC. Yeah, I like how that turned out. Okay, I'm gonna go fix my hair real fast. I just wanna add some oil and kind of zhuzh it up. I will be right back. Okay, friends, that is everything for today. This is the finished look. Hopefully I can hit paint on that eyeshadow in the next couple of days. That would be amazing. Anyway, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.